Um, hey guys. Um, my bad. <laughs> you guys are getting in full view of the Stompers real quick. I'm not bad. Um, I was, let's just say, let's just say I was, <laughs> I needed a moment and I thought laying on the floor was the best idea. So, yeah, kind of, kind of needed a moment to compose myself. Give me like one, one second. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me like get up real quick. My, my bad. Ah. All right. Ah. There we go. Ah, all right, all right, here. All right, we're, we're good, we're good. We're, we're back in normal position. Hello. Hello, everybody. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys had a wonderful time with Victoria and Kunai. They're nothing but the sweetest grannies. <clears throat> I mean, hag. <clears throat> I mean, adventuring buddies a cleric could ask for. Now, I'm sure you've seen quite a bit of this week uh, clinging on our metal cups against our social media jail bars, but hey, uh, we made it, didn't we? Yeah. Anyway, uh, without further ado, Hello, hello, everyone. The name is Claude Clamark, magic researcher and cleric at your service. But you already knew that coming into this. Now, it's nice to see all of you here this evening. This is quite a different speed than what I'm used to, so please bear with me just a little bit, all right? Now, I'm sure all of you have your own fair share of questions like, who is this very pretty man? Or what's this guy's deal? Or get a load of this guy. Now, which are all equally valid questions, except for that last one. I remember that one. All right. So uh, let's get to the whole whole slideshow business. All right. Yeah. Listen, I know it's corny. All right. It is what it is. All right. But how else am I supposed to show you guys how much of an artistic genius that I am? Now, if there's a lot of things you learn from school that kind of stick with you throughout the years outside of academia, I will tell you right now. The things that you don't practice, you will lose. And, uh... I'm gonna be honest. Um... Let's just say... PowerPoints were not one of the things that I, I kind of kept up with. Um... My bad, guys! <laughs> but, I'm sure that you guys want... Let, let's let's get a little more comfortable, alright? Let's, let's be a little more intimate, I guess. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me get this mask off real quick. There we go. So, I'm sure you guys want to know a little bit more about myself, and I'm sure that you will learn quite a bit tonight. All right, so, let me get to the next one. All right, so, well, we're well past introductions, but let's run it back real quick. The full name's Claude Clamark. Feel free to shorten it to however you like. Claude, Claw, Clamark, Big Magic Claws, you name it. All right, you can literally call me cheese whip pretzel cracker and I'll probably still roll with it, right? That's just how I am. Now, as for my age, <laughs> keeping a secret, right? But wouldn't you like to know? <sighs> yeah, sorry to you guys saying father. Um, I like to think I've retained my youth, thank you very much, but, you know, in all honesty, you'll probably pick up. The other two tend to call me a zoomer at heart, but I mean, I, I consider self myself a boomer, you know, so take that as you will. But we can all celebrate my bones creaking just, just a little bit more every January 2nd, um, where I will proceed to turn to dust. <laughs> okay. Now this one's a touchy one, because now... Okay, let's make these, let's make, let's make one thing clear, all right? I am not short. Just because I'm not crisis numbers, not Renzoto, Kyo Kaneko, 180 centimeters plus, doesn't mean that I can't ball like they do, all right? Listen, these heels, these heels aren't cope, all right? It takes skill to walk around in these, all right, buddy? If I want to slay, I will slay. And what are you going to do about it? All right, get me regular shoes. All right, who do you take me for? These guys can barely get me to put pants on. All right, well, we'll, we'll move on, we'll move on. So, occupation. Uh, you know, as a cleric, I'm usually doing the whole healing deal. I throw a health pot at the other two and kind of hope for the best. And it works like 90% of the time, you know. I, I won't elaborate on the 10%, but just trust me on that one, okay? Okay, sometimes, sometimes my potions are just a little bit too strong, all right? Not my fault, not my fault. Just a skill difference, if you will. <laughs> now, these claws do come with their own little quirks, as you can see. Uh, they kind of just glow. Uh, 
kind of just do that, you know. You know, these these were left to me by a good friend, you know, who told me to use them in a way that I saw fit. So, well, they do heal with my own little, you know, toxic tweaks here and there, and now here we are. So, blah, 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 call me Chuni all you want. I think they're pretty rad, all right? They're pretty good. I think they're pretty cool. So, uh, a lot of the time, the toxins come out in a way of gas, which hence the gas mask, you know. But, don't need to worry. Uh, doesn't really go crazy, no one gets hurt, anything like that, so no problem. In all fairness, the mask does help with passing gas. I won't clarify who did, but, you know, be my guess. <sighs> okay. Listen. We're not <laughs> beating the purple allegations with this one, alright? Put me on the list, and soon enough we'll have the full Niji Purple collab going on, and we'll we'll probably pull up with all of us doing, like, a, a Five Nights at Freddy's relay somehow. It is what it is. Alright, but just remember, you know, uh, seven decaf. That's kind of just how I've been looking at it. So think decaf. The next time you, next time you order a drink or something, just remember me a little bit. You know. Yeah. So uh, languages. As for languages, uh, it's mostly just English. <laughs> you know, while I do know bits and pieces of Mandarin and Cantonese, I'm not anywhere close to fluent enough to properly speak whatsoever. Let's just say I did not do my part when it came to weekend classes. All right, but at least. You know, we have VV to help us order at restaurants because I am too afraid to pipe up, okay? I'm- I'm- I'm the one who kind of like- like hides my face behind the menu and kind of prays someone else can take the reins, because... That's not me, that's not me. But, uh, you know, while I was still in the academy, um, I did happen to take a quick little year of Japanese, uh, 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 I do hope to learn more over my time here in Niji Sanji Ian and, you know, one day, hopefully, become conversationally fluent. But, you know, it is something to work towards. Okay, so, we're gonna be kicking it up just a little bit, because I think there's a lot to talk about and not enough time for me to be a huge nerd about a bunch of stuff, so we're gonna speedrun to the best that I can right now and we'll cover majority of what I can tomorrow as well, alright? So, <laughs> to start things off, these go a little hand in hand. Now, this can be a little polarizing because some of you will call me a freak, others will also call me a freak, but I really like soda. Um, it's, it, it honestly doesn't matter because I will drink it fizzy or flat. Either way, I just really like cola taste and sweet things in general. Though in hindsight, you know, that can explain the caffeine crashes pretty often, and also why I sleep on the floor. You know, in hindsight, maybe I should rethink some of my dietary choices. Uh... Yeah... You know, that being said, um... <sighs> sparkling water is off limits. Alright? None of you, absolutely none of you, will change my opinion on this. Other livers can clown me for- they can clown me all they want, but I will take this to my grave, all right? Schubert, Yamino, Dubert, Senpai, you will not change my mind. Not- not- not an inch, all right? All right, so yeah, moving on. Uh, the way that we view, uh, technology here, um, <laughs> is through magic. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> but, uh, I happen to be a really big fan of things, all things tech-related, as well as audio, computers, you name it. Whatever it may be. Uh, I happen to have a lot of different mics to my collection, a lot of different headphones, and there's, it's just something that I happen to be really, really passionate about. So, I do hope that's something that I can talk to you guys with as well. Cold drink. Cold drink. Now, I can't stand hot water. Can't stand cold, like, not, not cold water, but room temperature water. It has to be iced or just cold in general. But I've learned the way to force myself to hydrate because hydrating is important, all right? Get 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 your water intake. Now I realized I just have to trick myself, and how do I do that? By putting water in a soda cup, because I just drink whatever's in my hand. It's easy. It has a straw. I don't need to worry about going back down. Okay, I actually do have to go downstairs. But you know, it's easy. I don't need to worry about me taking my time and get it getting cold because I just drink it faster. Easy peasy, no problem. All right. But yeah. Uh, as for my last like, 
voiceover and voice actors. I'm a very big fan of <laughs> all things voiceover related, whether that be radio, whether that be audiobooks, uh, <laughs> cartoons, as well as anime dubs, uh, both uh, the JP and the English as well. Uh, it's just something that I happen to really, really like. I love the way that a lot of these different actors bring characters to life with their voice, and it's something that I just admire so, so much. Uh, blah, yeah, ugh. Uh, things that I find and I don't I don't like. Um, all right, we're we're gonna we're gonna speed this up just a little bit. Uh, aggressive heat. I really like. I don't like being sweaty. I, I hate being gross and I hate when it bears down on you like, like the sun. Ah, it hurts. All right. I don't like it. Feels gross. Tomatoes and fruit. Uh, I don't like fruit. It's weird to say. I just don't eat a lot of fruit. Frankly, I'll eat whatever's in front of me, but I, I won't go out of my way for fruit. Uh, tomatoes are gross. Raw tomatoes are gross. I'll eat pizza. I'll eat ketchup. I'll eat whatever the hell. But not, not raw tomato. That that's off the table. Uh, ball sports. For all for as long as I've been alive, I've never been able to catch things, throw things, or anything like that. Added with the fact that now I have claws, it kind of makes it a lot harder. Basketball, soccer, uh, anything with the ball, kind of difficult. Can't really do that. Not you know. So I just do things that don't require uh, my hands most of the time. You know, uh, sparkling water reminder graphic design that's pretty self evident. Let's be honest, all right. All right, so the last one on the list is my voice. Um, I'll be upfront with this one. I have a little bit of a thing called vocal dysmorphia. I uh, it really, really bears its fangs down on me. Uh, it's something that eats away at me, but it is something that I've done my best to try and overcome. So I do hope that being here and talking to you guys as well will give me an opportunity to kind of grow as an individual. And hopefully maybe one day I will learn to love it a little bit more. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Ah, well, if it isn't the consequences of my actions in the past. Yeah, um, I kind of timed this wrong and I kind of put it this in in the hopes that maybe I would probably just skip over a lot of other things. But, you know, I have a, I got a little bit more time, a little bit more time. All right. Stuff I'm into really quick. Uh, hold up. Actually, you know, what? All right, let's take this coat off real quick because you guys got to see my you guys get my bare exposed shoulders. A little, little scandalous, if you will. All right. We're, we're, we're guys, stop, stop. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I happen to like a lot of FPS. That's my shtick. Um, I most well, I mostly play a lot of um, attack FPS right now. So a lot of Valorant, a lot of Counter Strike right now. Uh, previously, I had grown up on a lot of Quake Arena and Team Fortress 2, and Apex is something that I also was pretty pretty into for a while. Uh, I also like a lot of co uh, co cooperative uh, FPS as well. So Ultra Kill is something that I just like solo campaigning and endless runs. GTFO is something that I want to bring everybody on board for because I think it's a really fun horror shooter and I I wish to everyone that we can go do a full rundown. Risk of Rain 2 as well. Fun roguelike, fun third person shooter, and it's, it's just fun all around with everybody. Uh, Mega Man and Persona. Uh, Mega Man, I'm not the biggest fan of like platformers, however. I mostly play Battle Network, Star Force, and the ZX and ZX Advent series. Those are my top three favorites, just of those. And I hope to play those on stream sometime soon. Yeah, Persona. So I played three, four, and five. Four is my favorite. Uh, have not played five Royal yet, but I have played five. And I am very, very excited for Persona 3. So uh, now you might be wondering what, why it says one trick wonder in bold text. All right. I play games the way that I want to play it, all right? And whether that be a specific role, a specific character, whatever it may be, I will play it the way that I want to because that's just fun for me, you know? So um, <laughs> whether that be constantly playing a Sentinel in Valorant or just rushing in as Octane in Apex, that's just what I like to do. I like to play fast. I like to do damage. It's really fun. Yeah. So as for my music taste, um, I will listen to literally anything. I'm that guy. I'm that guy who's basically a like a, a piece of printer paper that you kind of wave in the air and kind of hope for the best. Uh, I listen to mostly pretty much everything. Like sure, I'll have my opinions on like select few things, but that doesn't discount the fact that I'm open to anything and everything, all right? Most cases, uh, I am listening to a lot of Vocaloid and a lot of any song, mostly, mostly J-Rock side. Um, a lot of my favorite bands here, for example, Luck Life, Frederick, Overworld, Screen Mode. Uh, personally, I just love their music a lot. 
I, I love rock. <laughs> and Vocaloid, a lot of EDM producers, especially. Yeah. Uh, you guys can see my 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 little voice acting fanboy list. Uh, these are voice actors whom I very, very much so am big fans of, and they've inspired me so, so much over the years, and I truly, truly, truly love every performance that they've done. It it's it's so awe-inspiring, and I hope to one day potentially either work with them or be in the position similar to them. Yeah. So I guess we do have time for maybe like one more just in case. Do I have another? Yeah, we all right. Probably spend like two minutes. Now, I <sighs> Okay. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the time I'm watching shows not so much for the action scenes, not so much for, I like drama, but I also like romance a lot, you know? So when when you see Bungo Stray Dogs, do not, that does not imply that I'm watching it for a lot of the action. Let's be completely honest. There is, there's a ship in there that I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm raring for, buddy. Yeah. Skate the Infinity, Chiao to Fudu, uh, Yo Pedal, those are some of my favorites that I like to rewatch every once in a while. Uh, I can delve into as to why I like a lot of a lot of the other ones sometime soon tomorrow But just know I will say and I will always say this. I love bleach bleach is like my top top show Especially with the recent arc. That is the one thing that I will always keep up with weekly no matter what All right So all right, um now this is where I kind of need help guys, uh Okay my tags. Now, I'm not very good about the whole social media thing, as you guys can see. I do a lot of uh, <clears throat> tweeting where, to the point where they kind of lock me up every once in a while. That is to say, uh, do not let me do my hashtags. Because, for the love of God, I think you guys can come up with something much, much better than Clart. Alright? So, we'll establish that tomorrow with proper suggestions. However, these are set in stone. Claude Clamark for general. Big magic claws for the meme tag. If you do meme redraws, please tag that, because I do like those a lot. Um, NSFW, please, you guys can sort that out yourself. That is for you. Not so much me, but, you know, I will peruse. Fan name, that is also for you guys to figure out, because I do think that is something for you. You know, I think it's for you guys to feel included and to build community off of. So I will let you guys kind of meander as is. So, uh, as for goals... There is a lot of different things that I really, really want to accomplish here in my time here. Um, guys, hear me out. I really want my Tazumi collab. My Kamiyoshi. Tazumi-san, onegaishimasu. One day, one day, I wish to bring him on for a special program, whatever stream it may be. Hopefully one day. All right. Uh, as for the rest, you know, uh, I do wish to one day land a voice acting role. That is kind of a, <laughs> a very big pipe dream for me that I hope to accomplish here. And I do wish to lend my voice to kind of bring the character to life as well. And whether that be in another project, a voice pack, uh, voice drama, or even a show. I think that's just something that I want to accomplish during my time here. <sighs> Payback the Academy. <clears throat> Listen, I'm going to be real. Uh, being a researcher isn't lucrative, all right? And the Academy asks for an arm and a leg up front, and they still hound me for everything that I got. Uh, so, hey, if you want to help a brother out, <clears throat> you know, help me just escape the death grip that our, uh, Academia has on my poor wallet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is me saying financial stability. Anyway. 50K on literally anything. I don't care. I'll party anyway. Th honestly, any milestone for me is a huge one. And I'm extremely grateful for any and all support that you guys have given me, especially... Uh, since the announcement you guys truly 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 have shown me so much love and it it warms my heart to the core um i really am grateful for the support and i cannot wait to deliver for you guys uh yeah get on get comfortable with being uncomfortable i want to do a lot of different things i want to do things that are outside my scope i want to produce events i want to 
talk, I want to do radio shows, I want to do all sorts of different things and be able to produce a lot of different things for you guys, but so long as everyone has a good experience. So if it's something that you are looking forward to and that I have fun doing, that's all that matters to me. Uh, beat Minecraft once. I've never beaten Minecraft ever. Um, so I've taken it upon myself to try at least once while I'm here. All right. At least once. Um, I will hopefully have the coaching of wonderful, wonderful senpai who are really good at Minecraft. So please, I beg of you guys, teach me your ways. <laughs> So we're going to talk about my schedule. We're going to speed through it really fast, though, unfortunately. But um, hey, so we're going to start it off with uh, debut 2.0 tomorrow. Sorry, it's not listed. I'll post times tomorrow as well. Uh, but we're going to start off with a bit of Valorant. Uh, we're going to get the HopCon early. HopCon early. You guys are going to get a little little glimpse to everything. Uh, Monday, we're going to go off with Neon White. It is a very spun, fun, spun, fun, fun. Mm. Fun speedrunning game that I happen to also really, really enjoy, and it's something that I wish to be able to complete on stream with you guys. On Halloween, we're going to be doing Doom 2016. I actually haven't played any of the newer Doom titles, so I'm very excited for that as well. Wednesday, we're going to just talk. I think it's a very good way to wind down from a lot of the you know, high action FPS and move straight back into Apex the next day. Friday is going to be our collab as well. We're going to be playing Party Animals with uh, both Kunai and Vivi. It's going to be interesting. Because one says that they're going to win. However, I, pl <laughs> I don't play games to lose. All right. I don't play to lose. Anyway, next day is going to be Crab Champions. That just seems like fun. So, uh, all right. Because I need to push things along real quick. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. That's going to be coming out in just a bit, actually. Give or take after the program. We I do have something that I was working on. Um... <laughs> That was kind of ready for you guys. So, coming soon after the program, we're going to be having a debut cover. Unfortunately, I cannot play this on stream at the moment, but I do hope that you guys will be just as hyped as I am. I We put a lot of work into this alongside of a lot of the other people who helped make this debut possible. So. I do hope that you guys are just as excited as, as excited as I am. It will be coming out at 10 p.m. PST. So just about a little bit after the program ends. All right. Quick uh, credits because we got to get that on the way. All right. So for everyone that worked on everything, uh, for the lore video, Xiao and Lee from Uta Live, they have done phenomenal work and I'm very, very appreciative of the things that they've done and the creative direction that they chose to go in. It's Absolutely amazing. I'm very appreciative. Thank you guys. Uh, big thank you to both Fub and Alkit as well. You guys have no idea how stressed I've been over the cover. Uh, so big, big thank you to the both of them for really pulling through on the time deadline. Uh, Hodise did a great job with the schedule. You guys are going to be seeing this week to week. You've seen them around on other liver assets as well. So I'm grateful to be able to work with someone as graphically talented. <laughs> Uh, as for all the overlays and visuals you see right now, uh, this was done by a design company called Recall. Uh, they did a phenomenal job with me saying, I think this is really cool. And they really nailed it over the head with me just giving them like one sentence. And they were like, sick, we got you. And finally, to my wonderful mama, Ariya-sama, uh, as you can see, I wouldn't be here slaying the house down right now. These heels, had it not been for <laughs> Arya sama uh, So be sure to check them out as well. Appreciate all the hard work they put into this model. Uh, Arya mama, arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> Ganbarimasu. Okay. So, um, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to all of our debuts. We're going to wrap it up and throw things back to both uh, Luca and Maria over on the main channel. So, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Thank you guys for watching all of us, and I do hope to see your continued support moving forward. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't usually do, like, ending screens, by the way. Um. Hey, my bad, my bad, guys. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong scene. <laughs> all right. It is what it is. I will see you guys on the program. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. I will see you guys there. 
Uh, yeah. Well, sevens. We made it. 